Hi everyone, I'm Kitty Hart, and uh, I'm gonna, I know I've been rather emotional on this channel, but I'm gonna do my best not to cry. Um, I have a dog, he's 13, he has been my best friend for all those years, and he's not doing so well. And I mean, I get it, he's an older dog, you know, sometimes they don't last that long. <sighs> but, it just, it's not his time yet. It's not, um, he's still so full of energy and, and life and he, oh, he, he loves, he loves to go for walks. He sleeps with me, he's my big suck. But, um, for the last bit or so, he's kind of been, um, licking certain spots on himself to the point that they're, like, raw, bloody, and pussy. And, um, he, he can't put all of his pressure on one of his front paws. I just want him to be okay. And I mean, I know, like, he's got, he's got a vet appointment tomorrow. It's, it's, it's all good. I'm just kind of emotional because I feel like it's going to fuck everything up in some weird, I guess, mega selfish way. And I'm totally, I totally agree that it's selfish. But, um, my father doesn't want to, like, to be honest, I don't even think he can afford to take the dog to the vet. He's trying everything he could possibly do to get him to stop licking them and stuff like that. And it's not necessarily going so well. And he's not using proper methods to the point where it sort of worries me. And other people, obviously, but we'll get to that. Um... Sorry, I'm still kind of sick. I don't feel... I'm just sorry about my voice. But he, um... I, I, I took a picture, or actually a video, sorry, a video of him laying on my lap while I was petting him, and I posted it on Facebook. And I was like, nobody has to watch it. This is just for me, because I don't feel like he's going to be here next year. And, um... A few people commented on it, and then my cousin's husband commented on it, and uh, he talked to my cousin and all that, and they, they're gonna, they're gonna help me out, they're gonna, he has a vet appointment tomorrow. I just, with all this, like, I'm not telling my dad because he's not gonna be happy about it, he's either gonna have to pay them back or they're talking about me sending Max over there, and I, I don't, I don't know if I can personally do that. Like I, I, I love my dog, and I can't. Sorry, sorry, I can't not be. I, I can't not have him around. And um, I'm just, it's all super stressed out because in this, I know my father's going to be super pissed because he does he, he honestly probably can't afford the extra bill right now. But also, I'm kind of going behind his back. Like, he, I don't know. I'm going behind his back to do this. And I just can't, I can't see it going well, but if he's not going to take the proper steps, I know I have to, like my dog needs help, not just peroxide and human anti-inflammatories, like, I'm just so torn in whether or not to be like, no, fuck all consequences, I'm helping my dog, which is what my heart's telling me to do. But my gut's telling me, no, don't do this, you're, you're gonna get kicked out, you're gonna... 
your dad's gonna be so pissed at you and I mean I hate him but I hate conflict even more and I'm s I'm so scared and I'm so worried and I don't want to have to give my dog up otherwise I would have just surrendered him to the Humane Society to take him to the vet because then at least I'd get him back like I'm sorry I'm emotional I just don't know what to do and uh you're the only people I feel like I guess I could talk to so thanks for that and sorry for this but um if you have any idea on what I can do or just like advice like hey suck it up help your dog or like no don't do this you're being stupid just whatever um let me know <laughs> thanks for watching me cry <laughs> I'm sorry I really tried not to um, bye guys.